In this video, I want to show you a couple fixes that will enhance the output on the LCD display. In the previous videos, you'll notice that when I would, let's say, change the value, let's say for ADC1, and when I got lower in the value, you'll notice that there would be an artifact, a number here at the, let's say, fourth digit. You can see that I fixed that. And in the previous videos, what I would do is I would erase the number first, and then I would add the number, but that would cause the number to be very faint or tra almost transparent, and it would be very difficult to see the number. But there was an easier way to, to solve this problem, and I'm solving it within the actual library itself, where when it creates the string, or when it prints the string of numbers or characters, it would also print a space afterwards. So whatever was there in that location, it would be erased by the changed string of characters or this changed next string of characters. This will really only solve the problem for, for numbers changing. Like if there was a number counting down and the number counting down would be erasing as it, counted, as it counted down and it would erase the, the next digit as it got that lower, that much lower. But if it was a string of characters, just regular string of characters, then it would erase the, the last one. It wouldn't erase the entire line. That's something that you still need to do. It makes more sense to have this feature for numbers counting down or numbers changing. So let's go ahead and see how you do this. Okay, we're inside of the LCD functions header file. And in the LCD send a string function, you'll notice that I added a character. I'm going to comment this out so you can see what happens if I don't do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the main. And this, this you may not have seen yet because this uh, video will be um, located probably at the end of the LCD set of videos. So you may not see this portion yet, but don't worry about that. This is really just something that you'll, you'll learn later on if you're seeing this on YouTube. So I'm going to build So there's no errors, and I'm gonna go ahead and flash the microcontroller. So let's go ahead and change it to four digits. And as we, as you can see, when I go down, we're in the 500s now, but the eight was left over as an artifact. So let's go ahead and put that back in, put that space back in, and you'll see that change. So going back into the LCD functions, we'll uncomment that out. You know, the more I think about this, the more I think that we should actually not put it in here because when we're sending a string, we want to send it without a space at the end because we may have an instance where we want to maintain whatever is after um, this particular string of characters on the display. There may be something already displayed on the, on the LCD. So I don't want to put it here. I think it makes more sense to put it where the number is. And my first thought is just to put a space right here. So what would happen if I just put a space after the string format of, of the integer? If I'm gonna do that, I should also do it to this one right here, but I'm gonna test it first for the integer and see what happens. There's no errors and I think that's pretty obvious. You'll also notice that I have a plus one here in the max length of digits and I did that because of a, a a comment that I got on YouTube specifying that I needed to put a plus one here to reserve for the null character, but I'm not really sure if it's needed or not. I'm going to keep doing the testing, and, and if I see um, over time when I am having more digits being passed to the LCD, and if I see any sort of problems with it, I'll either take it out or, or keep it in, or actually maybe even add another one because of this space. So I'll just keep looking at it and see just to make sure of it, you know, it works, works fine. So let's go ahead and test this out. We've already built the program. So I'm go going to flash the marketing controller and see what happens. I'll adjust channel number four this time. Uh, this, this one right here. Yep. So it works. And so let's try it with the float. I'm going to go ahead and pass this number in as a float instead of an integer. And we'll see if it still works with a float after we make the changes. So back in the program, let's go ahead and put a space after the float. We'll do a 
build and see if we have any errors. No errors, let's go ahead and flash and see if it works. Actually, I need to still do the float. I didn't do that yet. So send an integer. I'll do that for data channel number one. So I'll send it as a float. Send a float. Floating point number. And then we want the floating point number to be displayed. So that's going to be channel one data. And then the max length of digits, I'm going to just put five. I'll make it six because there may be a decimal in there. And I want to see the decimal happen. I'm going to comment this one out because I want to put this back in there. Let's go ahead and build and then flash the, my controller again. Okay, you can see that channel one has been changed to a float. It has a point zero. Obviously it has a point zero because there's no decimal in the output of the ABC. So let's change and see if it actually moves. Okay, it does not delete the artifact. So let's see why this does not work. So we put the space there, but really after looking at it and investigating it, this is a floating point number and there's going to be decimals and there really isn't any artifact. The point zero zero, the other zero that happened after it, is just because we're reserving that number of digits for this float. So you're always going to see those extra zeros at the end because the number really isn't changed. It is the real number, is that it is the actual number. So we can actually keep the floating point number just as it is. When you specify a number of digits, it's always going to show those number of digits and you don't want it to show anything else because that's what you've created. So changing the LCD send to an in integer or send an integer and putting a space after that really is only the only thing we need to do. So I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. I've given you a tiny bit of knowledge. Because I'm doing this for peanuts, you can show your support by clicking the like button. Go ahead. You can do it. Click it. Go ahead. And also by subscribing and clicking on the notifications. Oh look, I've made it to 1.1 million. Oh no, that's not me. Oh yeah, and go to my channel where you can find all of the playlists.